Welcome to Bridge the Atlantic. We are your hosts, music web designer Ross Barber. And musician filmmaker Marcia Novelli. Joining us today, we have Topi and Ossi uh, from Finnish band Soft Engine. Soft Engine finished 11th in the 2014 Eurovision Song Contest with their track Something Better and have had some major chart success in Finland with their album We Created the World. It peaked at number 7 in the charts. Uh, Toby and Osi have just released their latest single, All About You and I, and there's a new album on the way later this year. We're looking forward to hearing about their experiences in the music business so far and find out what's next for Soft Engine. So hey guys, how's it going? Hello. Hi. Going hey. fine, yeah. yeah I have a little bad. So we, we like to start out the show uh, by asking you guys three things about yourselves that everyone should know. Three right. things about ourselves. It's always oh. the hardest question. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> something about me, maybe. Uh, something deep. As an artist, I think everyone should know that things that I create, I want to do something special. I want to own my life, the, the things I create. And, you know, I just want to make something supernatural. Like, in a mm-hmm. few, few years, maybe, maybe our music is, it's, it's going to be something best. I, I want to do, like, the best thing in the world, not, not just something, mm-hmm. you know. It's our goal. 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 It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's goal. Yeah, yeah. Sorry for my English, but... No, it's great. Oh, no, your English is better than our Finnish. So, yes, exactly. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's yeah. something about me. So, yeah, so you, got, you, you strive to be the best you can be and make the best art that you can do yeah. rather than just... Uh, I love uh, the music. I'm yeah. Free, so. That's what it should be all about. Yeah. You know? Definitely. Well, before before we even uh, talk about Eurovision, which is something we're obviously gonna to jump into, I gotta let you guys know that Ross is a huge fan of Eurovision. I've it's never true. seen it. I'm gonna be honest. I've it's never true. seen it. <laughs> but Ross is a huge fan, and every single time it's on, he just sends me <laughs> so many text messages and emails and, and and messages talking to me about telling me about Eurovision. I'm just like, all right. <laughs> I'm not even sorry. I mean, to me, Eurovision is the best thing in the world. I oh, absolutely cool. love oh, it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I, I'm not ashamed to say that. It's. <laughs> it's can awesome. I ask you a question? Yes, you can. Uh, what's your favorite this year? This year in 2015. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I like Latvia this year, and I liked uh, Belgium, and Belgium was great. Yeah. Belgium was awesome. It was really interesting. Um, yeah, yeah Belgium, the- Latvia were probably my two favorites. All right. And Sweden was good too. Sweden was good. You know, we just what don't get it. I'm in Canada. We don't get it here. We, we don't get Eurovision <laughs> here. We don't because well, it's Eurovision, right? But what, Ross, That's weren't great. you saying they're looking to expand that and include different uh, countries well, or something? Yeah, yeah. We had Australia in it this year. Like, they were invited to be a special guest because yeah, they've shown it Canada so many years. Yeah, so huge, and yeah, yeah, I think, um, I think there is, uh, it's been mentioned that Canada could be invited potentially so uh, cool. they, they do need to broadcast it first so yes we'll so people know <laughs> yeah. yeah so let's talk about you guys though eurovision 2014 you guys finished 11th with something better yeah right so what was that experience like you guys were, were such a young band and it was so early yeah. in your career like how did you find the whole experience and what impact has it had on your career so far well as an experience it was so crazy yeah, and we were so young guys. We still are young guys, <laughs> and we just went to a red carpet and a big stage yeah, and millions yeah. of people watching us. Leave our minds so crazy. straight from the garage to the big stages, and <laughs> it was so yeah. strange. We were like, uh, I don't know how to say it, but we were so freaked out. We were like over ner- nervous, so yeah. we were like zombies there, <laughs> just going from the place A to place B and just doing yeah. the thing we should do. <laughs> right. Was that, so obviously you did uh, UMK, which is the Finnish selection for the Eurovision song. Um, yeah. Was that your first time performing in front of a big audience? I mean, the Eurovision audience is obviously yes. a yeah. lot bigger, um, yeah. but UMK was your first. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So we have been playing like little places for 10 people or 20 people. And yeah. mm-hmm. then we got to UMK and they were like, how many people? I don't know, but million TV 
mm-hmm. watch it in the US. So. Yeah. And then you've got Eurovision, which is almost 200 million. So it's yes. no pressure. You know. <laughs> Absurd and crazy. Yeah. You know, it's an amazing platform, though, to have, you know, that audience. So how have you guys used that? How have you used your experience on Eurovision? Um, you know, being exposed to so many people and being able to build such a fan base. How have you used that to your benefit? Well, well um, what is benefit? <laughs> 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 yeah. How have well, you used it for your, your to better the band? Well, we got I many, don't know. Many fans. We have so so much things going on. We have a lot of fans from all around the world now. Mm. We just did our best there, and as yeah. many interviews we could do there, and and no. <laughs> 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 well, you're, we created the world album, reached number seven in the Finnish charts. Yeah. So, so congrats on that. Unbelievable. Yeah. Thanks. Absolutely. Thanks. Absolutely. It's yeah. awesome. And you've got a new album on the way uh, yes. due out later this year. Um, so the new single, All About You and I, is out now. Uh, I remember there was like the launch campaign and you had to follow your playlist on Spotify or something. I can't remember exactly how it worked, but I followed the playlist. I was desperate to hear the new song because <laughs> I listen to your album and I'm not even joking I listen to your album all the time it's the only thing I've listened to today it's now wow, 6 yeah. o'clock so it's cool. 6 6 p.m. here right I started work at 8 a.m. so I've listened to your album however many times you can fit <laughs> between 8 and 6 uh, well, so probably about, probably probably about, about 20 times well yeah, how long is the record maybe more minutes? than this about 30 minutes yeah, yeah so there you go, about 20 times. yeah so, so yeah so I kind of um Desperate for a new album, uh, so I'm glad you've got a new one coming out. Yeah, and hopefully later this year. About October, awesome. November, you guys were saying. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it comes out then. So you yeah. you can't keep Ross waiting like this, you know. It's I mean, cruel. That wouldn't it's be a very nice thing to do, no. guys. No. <laughs> Actually, we are releasing our album in like two parts. The yeah. eighth, oh. eighth it comes out out in is it November? I don't know. Mm-hmm. You know, sometime soon. Eleventh <laughs> 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 month is it November? Yeah, November. Yeah, November. yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Yeah. So, so tell us about uh, you guys releasing in two parts. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, the first part is a little bit happier. Yeah, it's more and chill, chill music, and just yeah. like and happy be- music. And the B side will be like more epic, epic and. Yeah dark and powerful yeah but not you know crying or anything like that so right 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 the whole song is just crying a little bit darker and, you know yeah and atmospheric yeah. yeah so are you doing is that two separate releases is that yeah, two, yeah. oh cool is that a f- two full length sorry how many songs are in each uh release i think they're um uh, well, about five on five each or side. six on each side yeah nice cool. very cool Cool. Yeah, Will that be released as an album together at some point, or is that just separate? Oh, we're not separate. sure yet. We haven't thought about that, but mm-hmm. maybe. Maybe I, I maybe think s- think that we are going to make one whole album mm-hmm. yeah. at some point. But yeah, yeah, you think about yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. So tell us a little bit about all about you and I. That's your latest thing. What about that? That was planned to do. Uh, I wrote that song for Martin Garrix, do you know that producer, EDM guy, no, not Martin Garrix, I think you know the guy. Probably, Anim- pr- probably heard his work. You know the Animals hit song, Martin yeah. Garrix. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, of oh, course, okay, yeah. of course, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's a good, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, I wrote this song for him, but uh, it was like... I was late with that, so mm. yeah. the song... You didn't raise the deadline, so... Yeah, yeah. Mm. It just... I thought about the send that song to our publisher, mm-hmm. and I asked, uh, could you do something about this song? Could you send that to another EDM producer? And... How did it go? Well, somehow it... It came to us. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, they were probably like, "This is a really good song. You guys should keep it." <laughs> yeah, actually, our boss, boss from Sony, heard, heard the song and he said that we should take that song mm-hmm. to us. Yeah, and it was our make, style, and you know, yeah, yeah, 
we just produced it to suit it for us with like band instruments. Yeah, the first, guitars and drums and you know. Uh, the first demo was totally like computer stuff. Oh, like EDM. Oh, yeah. Like EDM oh, stuff. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. So is that yeah. something you sometimes do? Do you, do you sometimes write for other artists as well? Yeah, it's my job now. No I, kidding. I <laughs> yeah, that. Uh, they sent me an email there, the publisher, and they asked me to write song for some artists. And there's like many people from all around the world who wants uh, tries to write the song for that artist, and then yeah. the artist just chooses what's best for for him. So exactly, I can, right. I can always try, but they are not asking me to do something for right right i think you understand absolutely absolutely so i would love to hear if there's a funny story particularly relating to eurovision if there's something great obviously the whole experience was crazy but is there anything in particular that you could tell us that maybe no one else knows like something funny or uh it doesn't even need to be funny just so, just something is it especially during the eurovision or during some or other band things yeah, anyway. anytime. Anytime. Anything. If there's anything that you want to tell us, then we'd love to hear it. How do you remember anything? <laughs> <laughs> and just letting you know, you can say anything you want on this show. <laughs> so don't <Okay>. worry. <laughs> well, I have one thing, but I don't know how to explain it. I can try. Yeah, try. <laughs> um, try. One funny thing, stupid thing. Uh, there was like fans everywhere suddenly when we were like walking in the streets and something mm -hmm. yeah uh, in Eurovision and then there was like two men uh, twins yeah, yeah twins, twins that look looked exactly the same same looking guys and <laughs> I remember they came to us and asked for a picture they were fans of Aussie they didn't care they about right our, our <laughs> band, but <laughs> also was the guy for them. And <laughs> <laughs> the first one came; he wanted to take a picture and yeah, selfie with me. And also was like, "What? What's going on? The guy wants to take a picture with with me." <laughs> like, okay, cool. So, yeah, and <laughs> then he took a picture, and after that, uh, a guy walked. Like he looked exactly the same. And yeah, other, other twin came and took yeah. a picture with me. <laughs> he asked, <laughs> asked, Why do I have to take a picture with you also? Because you look exactly the same. <laughs> That's good. I like that. That's yeah. really good. <laughs> Yeah. That's that's, that's good. That's really good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's, that's, that's strange. <laughs> Funny and crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So do you have any advice for uh other musicians out there that want to um they want to do what you guys are doing? Yeah, we have a few points. Um I personally think that the most is uh, yeah, yeah, the most important thing is to have really good songs because okay. after all that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can't be an asshole in your <laughs> in the, uh, business. You have to get along with people. Yeah, yeah because the whole music industry bases on you know friendships and knowing good guys, and you just can't be the asshole because no mm -hmm. one likes you. Yeah. yeah, no, exactly. So be the good. Yeah, That's it. definitely. Yeah. You know, do you have any advice for someone? We were talking about songwriting before. And I guess on this show, when we have musicians on, we're always focusing on a singer and a songwriter. But how about someone out there who's not interested in uh, being on stage or performing anywhere, but they just want to write songs for other people? What sort of advice would you have for that person? How to, how to get into the bit? Drink, like, drink a bit more like how to get into guys. it. What's that? <laughs> you have to drink beer with right, right guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that good you know, that's probably really true, get, get isn't it? Get with people. <laughs> write good songs. I don't know. That's what it. else yeah. should you do? That's like, well, what else can you do, right? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Are you guys ready for 20 questions? 
20 questions. Oh, shit. Yes, yeah, it's where are. we ask you 20 questions really quickly, and you really quickly answer the first thing that comes to your mind. All right. All right. Sorry. And we're going to attempt to say some things in Finnish. Oh, no. This is um, going to be embarrassing. All right. <laughs> all right I'll, sta- I'll start easy off. Easy ones. <laughs> I'll start off here. Yeah. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Coffee. Meat or veggies? Meat. Meat. CD or vinyl? Vinyl. Vinyl. Twitter or Facebook? Twitter. Twitter. You guys, you guys, guys both had the same answers. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are you buds. Canada or Scotland? Shit. Canada. Because oh. I've never been in Scotland. Nice. Uh, I can say Canada. Okay. <laughs> I thought they were gonna like you one. Guys. I thought each of you were gonna say something different just to <laughs> just to make everyone happy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, now here I'm going to attempt some Finnish. Oh no, here's some Finnish words. Right, I'm going to be brave. I'm going to try this. Lohiketo or Herniketo? Did he say it well? Lohiketo. Lohiketo. Say it again. Lohiketo? Lohiketo. 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 Or Herniketo. Herniketo. Lohiketo. I like that. What are they? <laughs> uh, I can't remember. But I think is it they're fair? soups, aren't they? One's salmon soup and one's pea soup. And other is... Pea soup. Yeah. So which yeah. one do you prefer? Uh, I like hernaketo, the pea soup. Cool. I like lohiketo. Well, there we go. Ooh. <laughs> Uh-oh, <yeah>. controversy. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking Bad or Orange is the New Breaking Black? Breaking Bad. Breaking okay. Bad. Okay. <laughs> no question. There is no... Both great there shows, was... but we get yeah. it. <laughs> like 30 Seconds to Mars or Foo Fighters? 30 Seconds to Mars. 30 Seconds to Mars. The... Nice. What Very was the other one? Foo Fighters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Foo Fighters. Both well, are great, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, that is a good yeah. For sure. Indie yeah. or major? Indie or major? You mean like... Like labels. a record label, so indie, uh, indie label or, or major well, label? Personally, I like indie. Major. Because <laughs> you guys it's, are on a major, right? <laughs> yeah, you we don't want to piss those guys at Sony <laughs> off, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Especially before the new album comes out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to attend some more Finnish. I don't know why it's all landed on me. <laughs> it's the way right? you <laughs> Sila Cat or Calaketo? What, what what's that? the first one? Sila Cat. Sila Cat. No, no, Sila Cat. What is that? <laughs> uh, Sila Cat. It's Bad fish. Oh. Some kind of that small fish that you have in cans. Oh, sardines. I'm not sure about it. Something. I think it's probably oh. like sardines. Or yeah, sardines. Sardines. It's really small yeah. f- and it's very salty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sardines, yeah. So, and okay. calaketo is fish soup. Yeah, soup. Fish like soup? That. Yeah, fish that soup. That doesn't sound very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, heroes or The Walking Dead? Heroes. The wa- heroes. Walking Dead. You know, I've never seen Heroes. I've only I've seen The Walking Dead, the first season. I saw the, the uh, Topi tweet about Heroes, which is why I, I added some Heroes <laughs> nice. in there. Um, Clever, and he also he also tweeted about one of the people I'm going to mention here, and I'll, I'll leave it up to you to figure out who it is: Jim Carrey or Mariah Carey? Jim. Mm, who was the other one? Mariah Carey. Single. Uh, never heard. She's got like <laughs> the most vocal range out of anyone. Something like, eight oh, octaves or something, something like that. Well, I say Jim. I would have to say Jim too. Come on. Jim's the man. Hey, right? that shit, man. Ross, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch up the next two ones just so uh just so I get to say a couple Okay to say. Okay, so I don't know what this is, but I just, I think I got it easy. The Rasmus? The Rasmus or yeah. Lordy? The Rasmus. The Rasmus. Yeah. Is that a band? Yeah, they're both bands. The Rasmus, they're both Finnish. The Rasmus oh. are were really big here and oh, Lordy. Is that the band won. you were telling me about? Yeah, and I Lordy. Check them out. Lordy won Eurovision in 2006. They, they were masks. Uh, oh. Yes. Heavy yeah. metal. Oh, cool. Yeah. Very cool. And um, Celine Dion or Marilyn Manson? Marilyn. Yeah. Good Mar- choice. Good choice. <laughs> Michael Jackson or Michael Bolton? MJ. Michael Jackson. MJ. That's right. <laughs> Twerk or work? Twerk. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. that's right. <laughs> Ricky Gervais or Ricky Martin? Ricky Martin. Yeah, we don't get too many Ricky Martins on the show. Oh, cool. What was the first one? Ricky Gervais. He's the uh, comedian. 
from uh, the UK. Do you ever heard? You ever seen the first Office? Like the show, The Office, the original uh, one. Where else I've seen it, but I'm not actors. So ah, okay, okay. It's a great show. Well, we got Ricky Martin. Yeah, there we go. Exactly. He'll be happy. We'll, we'll, have to tweet we'll, him. Let, him we'll let him know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he still got it. <laughs> no, this one confuses everyone. So it's okay. Right. Yeah, whale or kale. Well, like, yeah, like, like a again. whale, like that's in the ocean. Whale, yeah, yeah. Whale. Or, or kale that you eat. Uh, I say whale. You ever, yeah. Have you ever had kale? No. Really? It, really? No, I don't know what it is. <laughs> kale is like uh, like spinach, like uh, lettuce. It's just uh, it's, it's, it's green. It's green. It's, it's like a leafy uh, green. It's, yeah, you have yeah. it in a salad. It's, <laughs> it's really good for you. I eat it like every day. Well. <laughs> I ask for whale. whale we'll go cool. for whale, right? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bet Midler or the Riddler? The Riddler. If you mean the comic book guy. That's right. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. got it. And the last question I've left for Ross to ask you guys. Sorry about this, but uh... now, guys, this this could change our relationship forever. <laughs> Ross or Marcio? What? <laughs> I mean, they either might not know what her Stop. names are. So I'm Marcio. <laughs> yeah, and I'm Ross. <laughs> and he's Ross. It's oh. <laughs> <laughs> an awkward moment. Yeah. It's oh, so shit. bad. <laughs> so which one? <laughs> Ross and Big Marcio. Yeah, Marcio. I said Ross. There we go. That's diplomatic. I like that. There we go. We'll take that. We'll take it. We'll take, we'll take it. that. So what have you guys been listening to lately? Um, wh- what bands uh, are you guys into right now? Uh... I've listened to, you know, Diplo beats a guy. Diplo, Major Laser. Yep. Mm-hmm. And the 1975. Yeah. 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 No, no, I think they're a British, British band. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah a lot I of people are into them. Yeah, everyone's loving Those them right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the 1975 is my favorite at the moment. Yeah. So Ooh. fresh. The really good music. Yeah. Yeah, music. yeah they're great. great. Ellie Golding is cool. Cool. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna throw out a recommendation. I don't normally throw out recommendations. Do it. Um, a band from Glasgow called Prides. I think you guys would really like them. They kind of mix like rock and EDM, similar to what you guys do. Um, right. So yeah, I would check them out. Prides. Their album just came out uh, this week, and it's amazing. Um, what about you, Marcio? I want to hear what you're listening to. Oh, you know, we don't usually do this, but yeah, I don't know. You know, I listen to so much stuff. You know what? There's a band called Paris. Um, Paris. Paris, yeah. Like, you know the something like, song like Saint Patrick. Yes, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. I just found it uh, lately. It's so great. Music. Yeah, it actually, that kind of goes along with what you guys are playing too. I think, and yes. they're just phenomenal. You know, yeah. uh, I love uh, the whole record as a whole is great. The songs are great, and it, it's. Uh, I love how it's very atmospheric, and it just kind of mm-hmm. takes me somewhere. You know. And then, and yeah, speaking of that. French. There's a guy called Marcio Novelli, um, and he has a new project called Midnight Soundtrack, That's and it's neat. pretty awesome. And it's cool. it's, uh, Thanks, it's worth checking out too. So. Yeah, it's kind of I have a side project, and uh, it's it's kind of the rock EDM thing kind of mixed cool. together. And yeah, cool, very very cool. So where can people find you guys online? I'm sure uh, they can find you everywhere, but <laughs> In- Instagram. You can follow our personal accounts. Yeah. Uh, Facebook, of course. Yeah, Facebook, Twitter, Twitter and Soft Engine, right? Soft Engine. And bank. on Instagram and Facebook, actually on Instagram, it's Soft Engine Official. And yep. on Facebook, yep. it's Soft Engine Band. Yeah. On Facebook, uh, it's yeah. We did our research. Yeah, we'll, we'll, <laughs> okay. we'll, you know we'll put, <laughs> you can find it on our website. Perfect. We'll put all the links in the, in the show notes for this episode anyway. So if anyone Absolutely. wants to check you out, which they definitely they should, should, because you guys yes. are awesome, uh, then they'll find everything there. Yeah, and if anyone wants to uh, listen to what I've been up to, uh, you go to marcianovelli.com, and everything's up there. And if you want to find out what I'm doing, um, I just wrote a blog post about uh, why musicians need fans. Uh, no, actually, is that right? No. No, why, why fans of need to really support the musicians that they Yeah, play. that's it, yeah. You know better than I do. I, I wrote the post, but you know, you know more better than I do. Yeah, it's a really good post. Um, really, yeah, yeah I, would, uh, I would recommend you check that out um, cool. because musicians do need you. Because what are we without the fans? I know that so, sounds so cliche, but I mean, we're just 
making music for ourselves otherwise you know what i mean so it's yeah, so important nice. not only for the artists to appreciate the fans but also for the fans to really support the the musicians that they love because i think i as you guys I, you guys totally relate to this but i think that uh, you know the music industry is not what it was 20 years ago so i think yeah. people think just because say you guys are on eurovision or you know if you've got records out that you must be millionaires you know what i mean <laughs> you know? but that's what people think you know people will think that and they, so you know oh we can just download their music for free you know it won't affect them but it does you know it affects all of us you know and and it, it's just important so any any if if anyone's listening to this or watching this right now and you really love music you know just support who you love do it you you know, buy buy their cd buy their uh, their shirts and, and tell everyone you know about them or else those artists won't be able to make music anymore it's as simple as that that's true yeah you know sorry that was my little speech <laughs> yeah that's good. good one yeah it was a good one. okay <laughs> guys this has been such a pleasure seriously um really enjoy talking to you guys you guys are fantastic Thanks for watching Bridge the Atlantic. If you like what you saw, make sure to like, favorite, and most importantly, subscribe so that you don't miss each week's episode. Click on the videos above us if you'd like to see more. And please feel free to leave us a comment letting us know what you think of the show. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And subscribe to us on iTunes so that you can listen to us on the go. Thanks again for being awesome. And we'll see you on next week's episode. Hey!